I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. Hi, I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto with filmmakers Patrick and Walter of NOAA. How does it feel to have NOAA screening at the Toronto International Film Festival? Really good. Yeah. <laughs> really, really good. Great. Yeah. It's surreal. It's awesome. It's really cool. What was your initial reaction when you found out that you were in? You got the call. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ex really excited. Um, and some of our other friends, I think you actually interviewed them, uh, Fritz and Ben and uh, all of our, like, um, Jasmine. Jasmine, and they all got in and we were just like, it was like so cool because we all kind of came through it together, so we were all just like really excited, and we got to see each other at like the TIFF when they announced all the films, so it was like, it was really cool, yeah. How did you come up with the fake profile names for your Facebook movie? Uh, funny story, originally I had it as Noah, it was just, we, Noah was in the original draft, it was always yeah. Noah as the name, and then I just, when I was creating the initial profile, I just picked a random name, and I said Noah Cullen, and I did not make the, the connection between that and Twilight, until <laughs> somebody pointed it out, and I was like, oh, that has to change, we can't have that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they were, like, I actually was talking to one of my friends from grade school, and they're just kind of, I think, think like amalgamations of names of people that we knew kind of or we would just change a couple of letters because we're not that creative <laughs> I think we just uh, changed people's names of people that we knew. How would you describe your creative process in terms of how you piece together this film? Um, well what happened the first thing that we did was we had like uh, the idea we're just like let's keep everything on a computer let's see if we could do that and then once we kind of had those limitations we we're like okay a movie isn't that good unless it has music so how are we gonna add music and it was like okay he'll go on iTunes and then like things like that like uh, we just we kind of made a box for us to play in or like a sandbox for us to play in and then we were like as long as it follows the rules of it has to stay on a computer then that's kind of everything kind of sprouted from there. Yeah, and in terms of our actual process, like I think we are our own worst critics uh, collectively. So there was a lot of like butting heads in the best ways, I guess. Like we'd bring something, to, one of us would bring something to the table and the other would be like, eh, it's not quite there yet. And then they would offer something and be like, well, well I was thinking about doing it this way until we kind of just one up each other to the point where we're both completely happy with it. But uh, luckily we're good enough friends that it <laughs> we know how to get under the skin of each other. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the editing process because there were very concise editing moments and it was very clean and but complicated. How'd you do that? <laughs> um, the actual process of putting it all together was like one night I sat down with a big pad of paper and I just kind of looked at the script we'd written and just thought about Walter and I on a bunch of different computers and how we'd approach it like on like a beat to beat level and so it took like six or seven takes I think to get the first half of the film done and we just sat there with laptops kind of spread out in front of us and like I was on my smartphone on Facebook Messenger with one account and we were all kind of handling different aspects of it and we just tried to hammer it through in one solid take and eventually we did it and it took a lot it was a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna happen yeah we just so he would just be like like he said on his phone and he'd be like okay I'm Noah I'm gonna respond to you now okay respond as Liz now and we were just it felt very like schizophrenic but um, yeah so once we had all that and we already had recorded the Skype conversations and the chat roulette videos and then we just kind of uh, composited everything together he's he kind of composited everything and then we had Noah kind of looking around the computer and that was able to hide S sometimes we did little cuts but we kind of hid them based on where he was looking yeah so. mm -hmm. the original idea was to have the whole film the original idea was that somebody could sit down on their laptop on YouTube full screen it and just watch somebody's screen straight on and we did that and we had that and we looked at it and we was like that is the most boring thing I've ever seen in my life and you didn't know where to look because so much of it is so quick and mm -hmm. When we decided to kind of take it the route of like his views looking around and stuff, it kind of added a cool beat and like it gave the opportunity to tell jokes with that almost. Like it, yeah. it gave it more character, which ultimately. So how true to life is this day in the life of this person? <laughs> um, uh, there's definitely moments that ring 
realistic to like both of us we like that was a big part was we would just talk about okay what did you how have you felt on Facebook how have you what things have you encountered on chat roulette and we would just like talk about that endlessly um, of the things that happen on the computer because I feel like a lot of people you're probably on your computer right now you may be watching another video or you may mm -hmm. be looking at an article online or checking your girlfriend's Facebook or whatever and you're doing all these multiple things and a lot of people I feel like are doing that these days but we're not like conscious of it we're not aware of it we're all doing it but we're just not taking the time to stop and like think about that and how does that affect us mm -hmm. but uh, yeah so I think a lot of the stuff we've done mm -hmm. sadly and do you think that you'll make more projects focusing on technology specifically or are you looking to branch out into other things as well um, we've had the discussion about kind of like doing something similar to this. We feel like we've kind of said what we wanted to say with this medium mm -hmm. and to approach it on any grander scale, I feel like we'd have to take into account uh, legality. <laughs> and like we didn't, we, we discussed like how we'd make it, I guess, more viable to sell. And like we'd have to make it like fake book. And he goes on uh. you video to watch stuff. And it's like, well, we didn't really, we felt like honesty was kind of the best policy to make it feel more real. But you can't sell this film. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not marketable. And what are you hoping that audiences take away from it at the festival? I hope, again, I, we actually, I, I was watching the last interview that we did. It was really bad. I mean, it was <laughs> so awkward watching ourselves. He hasn't even watched it yet. Not, he's, I, I get into it. I'm like, I can't watch myself. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the same thing applies. I think we just want people to, like, laugh and, like, have a, like, smile and like have a good time and and just be really happy because mm -hmm. I yeah I don't I don't know that's how I think film should make people feel I think they should make people think but it should also be a fun time when you're asking them questions and stuff and where is the best place to find out more information on each of you and on Noah online shy boy shy kids oh. <laughs> you're good uh, <laughs> Man, she does a million interviews, but she still remembers <laughs> us. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, um, yeah, you could go to Shy Kids, our Twitter. Uh, Noah actually has made a Twitter, oh. like the character in our film has made a Twitter, mm -hmm. um, and he's not so happy about the movie. Um, I think it's Noah Lennox with two L's, okay. um, or at Noah Lennox, I guess it would be. Mm -hmm. um, also on the TIFF uh, website. Uh, and our short is premiering at uh, on Sunday, September the 8th um, at 2.30, I believe. And then it's also again on Monday at 12 o'clock. So I think they're, the tickets are all gone. But uh, if anyone just sends us an email, we'll send you a screener if you want. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, guys. Congratulations and have an amazing time at the festival. We will. Yeah, thank thanks. You. We will. Thanks. Thank you so thanks much. much. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto.